Hi, I'm here today to review. It's Jazz Goods. It's their men's nylons military style tactical webbing buckle belt. <laughs> so there's the name of a, um, it's a mouthful of a name, but it's the rigger style belt. So if anyone's familiar with the riggers belt, this is pretty much that style. They just didn't attach the name. Um, it's made out of nylon webbing. It's an inch and a half wide. And it comes like in a one size. This belt measures up to, you know, including the buckles at 50 inches. But you'll notice here on the ends, how you know most of the nylon is. If you if you do any of the skier, we have a few, quite a few riggers belts. I like to wear mine. Um, they just burn the edges here. So you could cut it down to your fit. It's easy to do, and then um, do it neatly like they did, and burn that down, and you're good to go. But it's a pretty decent belt. Another thing unique to this company's belt is the belt loop. As you notice, it's a different color. They do offer this belt in other colors on their site. Um, the normal tactical color, I think, uh, like a brown, like a beige brown, and then um, and then black. But I could be wrong about the black. But anyhow, because I just did the green one. It has the nylon belt loop, you know, so neoprene's a great sturdy fabric. I just haven't seen that before. But um, if you're doing hard work, like construction or whatever, and you're always sweating, I mean, nylon's great, you know, maybe same with this. It'll dry quickly. You got the typical really heavy-duty belt buckle with that, you know, real easy to do. So, I mean, it's a... Uh, Great belt, you know, it holds firm. And then with the good thing with the um, these belts is, this one's rated for 500 kilograms, which is 1,102 pounds. And obviously I don't have, well, I'm not strong enough to lift <laughs> or lower anything that weight myself. Um, I don't have the means to test that pounds out. Um, I do have my other belts, you know, compare them to. This locking mag, I mean, it, it's just not, it's not going anywhere. Um, we do carry, we do um, carry here, and this belt will easily deal with and handle your um, holsters. Obviously, it's a soft belt, so if you only carry on your belt, I don't, I've never have. Um, that might be an issue. It might sag unless you keep a tight belt, but um, I always do my pants in my belt. Is, um, so that's what I do a lot, but this can withstand the holster and then obviously you could go tuck under if you just did your pants by itself, but you know, women wear their pants lower. We need everything to all hold on. <laughs> Otherwise they tend to drag down. So the stitching on here is only one area of stitching and that is in this spot. My belt arrived pretty quickly. It had no weird funky odor to it. Just a regular, nice, clean belt ready to go um oh it's not bad it's just a very utilitarian belt but you know if you're ever in an emergency and um your car breaks down the side of a road or country road or whatever you may need to use this it may be the one thing that helps you lift yourself up out of situation or helps lower you or if you're camping you could actually maybe put all your food up in the trees and something like this you know it can be it could come in a lot of you know it could come in handy um Worst came to worst, I guess. I mean, it's real sturdy. You could technically make your own tourniquet out of this if you had to. So these are neat belts to have. Like I said, we use them. We keep them um, because they're so utilitarian. It's not a bad belt either. So it says um, Jazz Goods Men's Nylon Military Style Tactical Webbing Belt. One and a half inches wide. It says men's. Ladies, feel free to use these belts. <laughs> I use them. You know, I go back and forth, leather belts. I use my riggers belts. I love them. So, and instead of the Velcro, because I know a lot of the riggers belts have the Velcro, so it'll flap over and Velcro on. They've gone to no Velcro, and then they have this. So it's a little bit different of a style. So it's not too bad. You don't have to worry about always trying to clean all the crap out of the Velcro replacing it. Thanks.